All right, we're here to show you how to log in to VMIS. So I'm starting with an incognito account, and we will look. Let's first do a VMIS uh, login here on Google. And here we go. My Army One Source. Let's go ahead and go right here. Okay, so it brings us to my Army One source. This is the first page you're going to hit. Now you'll notice they do have some PDF files here. VMIS General Volunteer Training Program PDF. You can download that. And it has instructions here on how to do some things. But let's cut to the chase and let's make this quick, down, and dirty. You don't have an account. That's why you're here. Or if you do have an account and you want to see... How to log your hours uh, just stay tuned i'll put in the description below where we start uh, the point where we're putting in the hours so first thing we need to do then is register Reg see registration is free and we will click join now and here's where we will fill in our information u.s army garrison wiesbaden my age none of your damn business continue be aware of that if you make a mistake and you come back to the screen you're probably gonna have to put your password in again then after we've finished that information and it's finally gone through the uh, dummy checks uh, we will click register I've been pre-approved and logged into the site so now you can see I'm already logged in you can see up here it says log out so let's continue alrighty so the next thing we need to do is apply for a position we go to volunteer tools uh, volunteer opportunities you see the tab here that says volunteer opportunities so we've got US Army Garrison Wiesbaden there I'm gonna put community recreation and outdoor rec I'm gonna click search so if you do that US Army Garrison Wiesbaden community Re recreation community recreation outdoor recreation you want to go ahead and select Outdoor Recreation Program Volunteer. Well, let me collect it first so you can see what we get here. So it tells you the, the qualifications for the position and contact person is L. Claver. That's correct. What you do then is you click apply here, probably 24 to 48 hours. They will approve the position and you'll get an email saying that the position's been approved. Once you've got that, then you can log in your hours. So you've logged in after you've gotten your account. Now you'll see you've got many more tabs open here. So you go to volunteer activity. And as you see, I've already got five hours from manning a booth and attending a meeting. So we want to add our hours from the drive hunt that we did. Click hours. Well, add for open date. So we need to click add for open date. And the drive hunt was on Friday the 16th. So we saved the total hours here. You can see we've got the two hours from the meeting night. So we save. And now we've submitted eight hours for the 16th. That's it. That's how you add your hours.